After a failed kidnapping attempt by major uncertainty, Monsieur Kilogram is back at the superhero's headquarters at NIST. Thank you all for saving me. I'm just happy to have you back, Monsieur Kilogram. Yes, welcome back, Kay. Now, let's play. Okay, remember, you have to tell us three statements about yourself. Two truths and one lie. We have to guess which one is the lie. If we get it wrong, you go again. If we get it right, then the person to your left will have the next turn. Hey, I want to play too. What is that? We can't hear you. Ah, let me out, Earl. <laughs> I'm so glad major uncertainty has become such a tiny problem. Okay, here we go. Number one, I don't have to travel to Paris anymore to find out how heavy I am. Number two, after the Treaty of the Meter, I was made out of diamonds because it's the hardest material in the world. And number three, I've had many names like Krof, Krom, and Le Grand K. We are all glad that you don't have to travel to Paris anymore. Oh, so that's one truth, isn't it? I've known you for a long time, so I've called you by all names, Kay. The third statement is true. No matter how much you love diamonds, you were never made out of them. The international prototype kilogram was made out of platinum and iridium. certainly works in my favor. Great job. Professor Second, it's your turn now. Hmm. Until the American Revolution, Americans used sundials to tell time. For my second one, I rely on a tiny atom to give me the right time. And lastly, as clocks improved, people started to divide time into smaller chunks. <laughs> Very funny. We already had clocks in the 18th century. Thousands of years ago, civilizations like the Egyptians built sundials and divided the day in 12 hours of day and night. All right, Meter Man, it's your turn. Let me see. Numero uno, I'm longer than a yard. Numero dos. People used to use their hands, arms, and feet to define me. Y numero tres. I'm constantly stretching and contracting based on the changing speed of light. Oh, oh, oh yes. Very clever, Meter Man. Yes, people used to measure length with their bodies. That's why we call 12 inches a foot. <laughs> a yard is 36 inches, and a meter is 39.4 inches. So you're almost 10% longer. You are defined by the length of the path traveled by the light in a vacuum. But the speed of light is constant. This means that your value does not change. <gasps> what? He escaped! We have to find him. There's no time to lose. Quickly, League of Superheroes, assemble! Whoa! Meter Man! Candela! Professor Second. Monsieur Kilogram. Ms. Zampier. Dr. Kelvin. Setting the standard for incredible accuracy and mind-bending precision wherever they go, it's the League of SI Superheroes. <laughs>